What is going on guys? Welcome back to the watch list. Just doing a Sunday recap like normal, just showing you the plays that I am looking for this week. So with that being said, let's jump in and right to the intro. I've been getting dirty money. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'm always I'm putting out at least one video a week, giving you guys absolutely free content that's gonna help you guys, whether it's long term, short term, just in finance and and everything like that so that being said let's jump back to the video what's going on guys so right now i've got three of the four plays that i'm really looking for when i say three of the four it's mainly because the fourth one does not fit any strategy and i'm just looking at spy as an overall general again spy follows the s p 500 it is something that i'm always watching we did just hit all-time highs like i stated in the watch list i think it was on wednesday i literally called that we were going to go hit new highs i didn't know that we were going to go completely through it once again i figured we would break this and then it would just kind of trickle back down kind of like it did here on this one but instead it just absolutely kept running which is a good thing for the market not going to say that it's not but there's some different factors that i want to kind of talk about here that's going to leave leave investors into a situation where you really are not 100 percent sure on what to do in the past, things have been very, very easily to just buy in long term and just hold forever. This year has been different. You guys know that I bought in February and we actually, let's go on ahead back here. Yeah, I bought in, or I bought a long time ago, of course. Um, past four or five years, I've been buying. I sold everything in February. Two, this is 221, so I think I even sold before this started actually actually dropping here. As soon as I heard rumors of lockdowns and everything is when I sold all of my long-term positions. We bought puts on the way down here, and then we bought we were buying back in around in June and July, and we've rode this out here for the past months. That's absolutely amazing. Congrats to all my students that have been doing that with me and following my strategy for both long-term and swing trades. Congratulations. The other plays, though, is we are at all-time highs. So what does that mean? That means you need to be skeptical of, I am not buying any more stocks right now. When it comes down to the S&P 500, I will not be buying any more stock in this right now until we get a pullback. Will I miss out on some opportunity? More than likely, yes. But I am literally sitting on cash waiting for this to take another dip, and then I will buy back in. Again, I'm still holding a bunch, but I'm not selling anything, but I am waiting on a bigger dip. I think that this one could at least fall back into the 360s, if not into the mid 350s, and then we will see it run all over again, more than likely. But, and again, that will all according to what happens with Pfizer and all of those and the drugs that deal with, you know, the pandemic and everything like that. So now let's get into the plays that do fit the strategy. Netflix. Netflix is one, I said calls last week on this one, and they're not doing very well. So if I were you, I would cut that position. I have I never ended up entering in it because it never gave me the exact entry that I wanted. But overall, I'm looking that this one is going to continue to go down. If you look here, this is a triple top, meaning it struggled here three times and can't get past it. This one, you figure that's a new high that's great and then it can comes back down consolidates and then we have this huge push up again it doesn't even make it there again we do that all over again and this time it cannot even get back to that high comes very very close doesn't allow it to break and now again with the rumors of the pandemic california already went under lockdown those are things that you guys need to be taking taking into consideration i believe that netflix is going to fall they also just bumped up their prices to drive more revenue because users are going away from netflix now that the pandemic is supposedly ending sorry about that that the pandemic is supposedly ending that's something that i'm always looking forward um i love the number side of this so be on the watch out for Netflix to actually drop on any bad news at all. Again, you got to remember their earnings and they went down. They were positive on earnings and they went down. Peloton. Peloton is one that I want to say to buy and to think long term and that you know it's going to end up making money. It's it's down off of the new highs and everything. I can't give this my pass. And why am I saying this? is because I want to be 100% honest with everybody 
when it comes down to Peloton. I do think that I will end up buying a smaller position in Peloton or Peloton, P-T-O-N is the ticker name. But this one is not confirmed. I think it actually just confirmed for me. SLV is the one that hasn't quite confirmed for me. But Peloton, I will be buying some this week if I get the opportunity. And again, it fits my strategy and cues my entry. So SLV is the last one that I really want to talk about here. Again, I'm going to try to sum this up as quickly as possible. They have bottomed twice here. And now they're in kind of that channel. They're in that mid-range right now. My strategy is actually confirming upwards. I can see this one into 23, 23 and a half within the next week or so. I would say 23, 30s, like where, right where this topped off at. There is some resistance right there. No, I do not trade off support and resistance, but I will use it to kind of gauge where I would like this thing to top off at um, and when I do enter. So this is one that I am looking to enter within the next few days. Um, again, it has to confirm first. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys all for watching this watch list, and I will see you guys all tomorrow morning.